I'm Randy and I make candy and today I'm making spooky Halloween treats. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. As you can see, we're back in the laboratory of the Candy Castle for another horrifically tasty Halloween treat. This one is inspired by the character Sally Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a white chocolate fudge that incorporates the colors of her patchwork dress. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Sally Skellington fudge as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I'm using three cups of white chocolate chips, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, four tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and some gel food coloring. I'm also using a lined eight by eight baking pan, a medium saucepan, a spatula, four small bowls, and four spoons. Okay, let's make some candy. In a saucepan over medium-low heat, add the chocolate chips, milk, and butter. Stir until the mixture is melted and smooth, then stir in the vanilla extract. Divide the fudge into four small bowls. Since I don't have black food coloring, I'm going to use blue, red, and green in a 3 to 3 to 2 ratio. So 3 drops of blue, 3 drops of red, and 2 drops of green. Give it a good mix and repeat as needed until you get a shade of black or dark gray you're happy with. Next, we'll make the yellow which is much less complicated. Now the pink. Since we're using white chocolate, just add red until you get a nice pink color. I'd recommend mixing in one drop at a time so you don't overshoot the mark. Finally, we're going to go for a teal color. Add one drop each of blue and green, then add more blue or green until you reach the desired shade. Now it's just a matter of adding alternating spoons full of each color into the lined pan. Place the fudge in the fridge until it's set at least two hours. Remove it from the pan and cut it into whatever size pieces you'd like.
And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slan Shiva. Not much to say here. It's smooth and creamy and tastes exactly the way a good white chocolate fudge should. If you're looking for a tasty treat that'll be loved by party guests and trick-or-treaters alike, you really ought to try these. For I help you make tasty treats that people live and live. As you can see, we're back in the laboratory of the candy kitchen for another... No, we're not. The three to three to three, no.